Hello, my name is Colin from hdcctv.co.uk. In this video, I'm just going to run through how to use the XIQ CMS software that comes with our DVRs, our AHD DVRs, and our 4 megapixel NVRs. So, install the software from the CD-ROM, and then we'll just run the program. First screen is a login screen, just click on login here, this is the default password here. Okay, so the first time you run the program, you'll have this wizard appear. Just click on the next button. And now this is the screen where we can add the recorder. So you've got the recorder set up on the system already, networked and working okay. So you can just click add online device. It'll then search for any, any devices compatible on the system. As you can see, we've got a, a few demo ones here in the office. So I'll click on the 32 channel one and that fills in this information on the right and then we'll click add selected device. Okay so here we can name the recorder, we'll call it 32 channel just for the, uh, the video. And just hit your normal username password in and log in. So admin and no password is the default. And you'll see it's appeared as an icon on the left hand side here. If you highlight it and click import, or don't bother highlighting it and click import all, it will then move it to the right hand side. As you can see there's a little triangle here next to the default group icon. Click on that and that then brings down the recorder. Another one next to it and there we've got the individual camera numbers. Okay so that's added, we can now go to the next screen and finish the wizard. If you're not on the same network as the recorder itself and you want to add the, this, the, uh, the recorder to the software, click on add device and then here you would uh, obviously add the, the recorder's name, DVR, uh, you put the IP address in there. To find out what your external IP address is, go to a web browser, open up Google, type in the letters IP into the box and hit enter and you're given your external IP address there. While we're on this screen, let me just show you a couple of things we can also do with this uh, group device screen. Now we've got the device added, if you see if you just hover the mouse over it, the uh, three icons appear here on the right. Now the middle one is just to delete this device, delete this recorder. This one on the left, the pencil and the bit of paper, is to modify the settings. So here you could rename it to, uh, I don't know, DVR at home or whatever you want to call it. That's the IP address the recorder's on, the internal IP address. Uh, that's the port it uses, media port 9000, the username and password and how many channels it is. So we'll just modify that. And you see we've got DVR at home there. We can also, with this screen, remotely control the recorder we can change the settings of the recorder so we just click on the spanner and that takes us into the system settings of the recorder now I won't go through all these functions this is the uh, basically mirrors the GUI on the recorder itself you've got image control uh, settings for the cameras camera names that sort of thing whether time time zones are shown any privacy zones you want there you've got your record settings different streams substreams and parameters and scheduler uh, you've got the network settings, the email setup, all the gubbins, the motion settings, the alarm, hard drive situation, cloud storage. So everything you can do on the, the, the machine itself you can do here remotely. Okay, so now we can go to the main view. Now if you haven't got the main view appearing there, that's because you haven't opened it yet. Just go to the main view here and that then appears at the tab at the top there. Okay, so we've got the main view up. Here we can see the default group. Little triangle, there's a recorder. Triangle again, there's the cameras. So you can either just drag and drop into the, any window you want, or you can just double click and it'll fill in the spaces. So that's the pictures live. Um, by default, it will load in the lower resolution substream, which you can see here. So if I double click on this, you can see it's quite. Uh, quite fuzzy and a bit, uh, it's not HD anyway. So if we just go back to the icon on the left hand side, right click and set mainstream, that then switches up to the full HD picture you can see there. 
To get back to, my, to um, the split screen view again, you can either double click on the screen, or you can pick on this icon here, and then choose a screen layout from this menu here. So let's choose that one there. Okay, now if you wanted to put uh, this camera in that window, just drag and drop it there and it'll swap them over. And again, any time you want to, you can switch to main screen to bring the quality up. Okay, so that's the live view screen. We've got a few icons at the bottom here. This one is the full screen button. This is the screen layout one we've just seen. Next is the stop button and this will turn off the view for all cameras. Next is the record button. So we've got this camera here highlighted. Hitting that will record on that one. If you were in full screen mode, you could switch between cameras using this one, forward and backwards. Nice quick way of uh, seeing all your cameras quickly in full screen. This one will allow you to set it up so it will switch automatically for you, so you can make it switch every 20 seconds. It will just start switching between different camera views. And then finally we've got an, an audio mute button there. For any cameras with audio in, you would use that. Also on each window, you'll notice when I highlight each window and I hover the mouse over it, there's a, a bunch of buttons that appear. So the first one is a snapshot button that will take a obviously a snapshot photo of the uh, of that moment. As you can see it's put it there. There it is. Next one is the record button again. This will start recording in that window. You can have several several windows recording at once, not a problem. And then when you stop it, uh, it shows you where the, uh, the recording is. Next is a joystick icon. This only applies if, if your camera is a, a pan tilt zoom camera, a PTZ. If it wasn't enabled, this would be here. This would be uh, bring up the on-screen PTZ control panel. This stops the the view again of just that camera. Next is a zoom um, button. Click on that, and then you can then drag an area of the picture and the release and it will then zoom and double click to bring it back next is the image control menu tint contrast brightness color and then again the individual audio mute control that's the main view Remote playback. This is the playback screen for the recorder. So you pick up to four channels to playback. Pick a date and then hit the search button. That then fills in the timeline on the bottom. As you can see, we've got cameras one and four recording here up till two o'clock. Then we've got all four cameras recording. So to playback, click on the play button and then you can uh, move the windows to any time you want. As you can see, we've got individual playback times on all four windows, and you can make them all be synchronized by ticking this box here on the left, synchronous playback. So that's it for now. This is just a quick overview of how to add your recorder or cameras to the software and how to remotely view and playback. Thanks for watching, I'm Colin from HDCCTV. Mm -hmm.